Tyler McGregor was born with skates on his feet. He has always had a dream to represent Canada. His path to wearing the maple leaf wasn't an easy one. When I found out I had to have my leg amputated, it was, it was soul crushing, to be honest. And I remember it just being such an emotional few minutes and, and, then, and then few months to, to follow where I had, you know, my entire kind of identity kind of stripped away. Hockey was, was my life. I was far more scared of, of losing my leg and losing my hockey career than, than I was of dying of cancer at that time as a teenager. It, it took quite a while to really put those pieces back together and, and try, to, try to move forward and try to find a path forward, but um, I'm fortunate that, that I was able to do so. He sends it across, there's McGregor! What a shot with the left hand! McGregor makes it 6-0. Tyler earned a spot on the Para Hockey national team with the chance to represent Canada in Sochi and Pyeongchang. Roybal's got Opsin square, it's come back, panic, Farmer! What is going on? I do think that that, that loss in 2018 certainly was one of the darkest moments of my life. And, and it wasn't just that specific moment in time, I think it was more so the months that followed where you know, we were 37 seconds away from a gold medal, something that, that I, you know, I, we could have put our fingers on and, and something that I've dreamed of since I was a young kid and then all of a sudden that was stripped away from us. Tyler is now going into Beijing wearing the C on his sweater. I think being the captain of Team Canada is an incredible honour and to be a captain of, of Team Canada, especially when you think about um, you know, everybody who's done it before you. With a silver medal in Pongchang, he is now focused on one goal, gold in Beijing. I think there's so many people, every single one of them deserves to, to put a gold medal around their neck and I, uh, I'm excited to have the opportunity to go to Beijing and do that.